tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Johnson. TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, hello, After Buzzers. I'm your host, Kylie Hodges, and I am so excited to bring you a very special edition of After Buzz TV Spotlight On. You probably follow her on social media, and you've probably seen her out and about. She is actress, musician, YouTuber, and also seen on Vine, Lauren Giraldo. Hi, Lauren. Hi. So good to have you here. I'm so glad to be here. So I want to do a little getting to know you. So I'm just going to throw about 10-ish questions at you, and I just want you to give me the first answer that comes to your head. Okay, like pops into my head? Yeah, like whatever you first think of. Okay. I want to, you know, I want to get to know the real you, and, you know, first thing that pops into your head should be the most honest, right? <laughs> it's going to be basic. Okay, ready? Favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. Awesome. Favorite drink? Starbucks. Favorite movie? Mean Girls. Favorite curse word? Fuck. <laughs> Favorite uh, musician? Um, right now, uh, probably Ariana Grande. Favorite uh, vine you've ever made? None. None? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a favorite. <laughs> top, I, top dream vacation destination? Hawaii. And trapped on a desert island and you only get to bring one thing, what is it? Zac Efron. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. You brought a person. Of course. Why Zac Efron of all the people? Are you going to try and procreate? Is that what's happening? I mean, if we're on a desert <laughs> island, he has no option but to fall in love with me. I mean, what else is he going to do? <laughs> like, eat coconuts all day? Yeah, so, it's either you or some palm trees. It's and, either me or some palm trees. And, yeah. Come on. Hello. Yeah. Lauren Geraldo, everybody. But yes, we would procreate. Yes. Yeah. You guys would probably make really beautiful children. <sighs> Don't even get my hopes up. <laughs> I'm just, like, really hoping that San Andreas happens. This part of L.A. drifts into its own little island. And there's me and Zach. I mean, if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. True. So. <laughs> Although, Earthquake. let's Kidding. hope nobody else perishes from that. <laughs> so I want to talk to you a little bit about your previous career and how you're kind of, you're, you're breaking into the music world. But I know you from social media. So tell me about how your Vine and your YouTube and your social media career exploded. Walk me through that. So my friend, I was in drama class and it was the most boring class ever because it was like four hours long. I love drama, but that class was so tragic. <laughs> so my friend was like showing me vines one day and she was like, these are so funny. I was like, yeah, like they are. So we were laughing at them. And she's like, you're so funny. Like you should make a vine. And I was like, no, nah, I don't have time for like vine. She's like, do you not have time for six second videos? And I was like, okay, <laughs> like you make like a really valid point. So I just made like a ton and then went on a cruise with 300 followers. And when I got off, I had 300,000. So I was just like, oh. Like, what was the vine that blew up? There, was, n there was never one. It really? Was, yeah, because this is what happened. So I had posted a bunch. And then when I was on the cruise, they came out with like the revine option, which is like a retweet. Yeah. So then I guess people just started revining them. <laughs> and then when I got back, I had 300,000. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was so weird. And then I grew my vine. Still accidentally, it just like happened. And now I'm getting into YouTube, which I love. Like yeah. I'm obsessed with making YouTube videos. And it's a different type of connection because Vine's very like, dun, 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 like, okay, cool. But it's like, there's like a level of deepness you can really go with six seconds at a time. So I feel yeah. like YouTube is so much more open. And, yeah. yeah. I get the vibe from Vine that it's a lot more almost like sketch comedy. Yeah. But for people with ADD. Yeah, like like myself. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Maybe the secret to becoming a successful Viner is to just have ADD. Yeah. You'll get millions of followers. You get in and out. That's what people want now. Mm -hmm. In and out. Burger. But your vines are so great because it's like, I mean, I've seen a lot of ones where you're running up to strangers and putting a smile on their face. Yeah. You're doing something crazy, but it may, <laughs> like the reaction is always usually pretty nice. The reactions that I post. Oh, <laughs> all right. Now we're getting juicy. <laughs> I mean, like sometimes, sometimes they'll get pissed, but I, I like really work on picking my candidates wisely. Yeah. So I know that older men usually won't get pissed because I'm a little girl. Like they can't really scream at me because like that's like, kind of illegal. So, um, <laughs> so like I'll pick like older men, but like if I do it to a woman, she'll be like rude. Like, yeah. Oh my God. 
so just you have yeah. to kind of pick and choose. But it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Now, you have posted vines where you're singing. Yes. How have people been reacting? So when I post them, well, okay, so I post vine singing and people like them, but I kind of, not really recently, but I should now that I think about it. <laughs> Mental note. I sometimes like sing <laughs> Let's on Snapchat. Let's put that on her to-do list. Thank Does you. Someone have a to-do list. Yeah. Let's add that. <laughs> so I'll post like singing like videos on Snapchat sometimes, and then I'll get tweets like, "When's your music coming out, Lauren?" And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about your your musical background. You're obviously a theatrical, outgoing person. You were in drama class when you started Vine. Yeah. So I, tell me more. So I grew up doing musical theater, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Like Annie, I was I was Annie. You were the Annie? Yeah. Did you wear a wig? I did. Okay, I was like, <laughs> yeah. how did they do that with your hair? No, yeah, I wore a wig. I mean, I did a bunch of musical theater, and then I'd really love to act and sing, and then Divine happened by accident. So then I got, like, a ton of followers, and, like, obviously, whatever. But then, like, I people genuinely wanted to hear my music and still yeah. want to hear my music, and I genuinely want to make music, but it's always been, like, a pipe dream. <laughs> Don't worry, she's just breaking our studio. I mean, Don't please. mind it. We'll just invoice you. The... You can just replace it with a phone and just play Vines all day long. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Who needs a flat screen TV? No one. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Yeah, so, um... So I wanted to make music and I really want to make music and that's like always been my passion since I was been really young But it's mm -hmm. been like okay, like what are the odds you'll get like I'll actually make music that's successful But now it's like if I put out music that people actually want to hear because they do want to hear and I really do want to make it I'm just super excited to really get in the studio find my sound find my musical identity <laughs> My concept now when you first blew up on Vine, did you ever think like, oh, I could use this to my advantage. I could really make music a part of my life from this. At first, no. I did that really? thought didn't even occur to me. I was just like, okay, this is like really cool. Yeah. I, I think my first perk that I was like the most interested in was travel. I was like, yeah. I can go do meet and greets in like really cool cities and like see the world. Yeah. That was like my first initial reaction. But then after a while I was like, wait, but I really love to sing and like it's my passion and like I could totally maybe do this. So. And have you gotten to see the world? Yes, I've seen a lot of it. What are some of the favorite places you've been? LA. I know yeah? that's like so general, but I grew up in Miami and then I came here a bunch of times and I was like, oh, I love LA. But I was so young, so I couldn't move here. Okay. But and how old are you now? I'm 17, but I still moved here. Okay. So wow. Yeah. 17 in Los Angeles. I have seen the hills. This could be tumultuous. I mean, my name is Lauren. So. <laughs> are you the next Lauren Conrad? No. Who is... Uh, a musician or an actor or anybody that is your idol who do you aspire to be um, I don't think I really idolize anyone but I do look up to a lot of musicians um, I look up to Ariana Grande's voice specifically because her talent's just incredible mm -hmm. and I love how she made the transition from Nickelodeon to being taken seriously as an actual musician so smoothly without having to be super drastic about it or like doing anything for attention I mean I, she just did it so effortlessly so that's something that I really looked up to because I feel like that'll be a lot of myself when I transition from being, oh, Lauren Geraldo from the internet to like, no, Lauren Geraldo, the musician who's like seriously loves to sing. Yeah. And uh, when I look at her, I mean, I know it's different, but it's, I can really relate to. I saw a vine where you dropped an award. You were presenting at Premio oh. Lo Nuestro. Yeah. <laughs> What's that plan? Did you really think like, oh, this would make a great vine? No, I've literally never planned a vine in my life. It was <laughs> so horrible. So... They told me that I was going to be giving awards, and like I was like, okay, I can like give awards. That's what I was told going yeah. in. Not, I didn't know I was going to be speaking in Spanish the whole time. I was like, okay, I got this, but like extra layer of pressure. I didn't know who these people were, but everybody around me were like, they're so famous. Okay, I was like, what? Okay, extra layer of pressure. Then they give me like three awards at one time. I'm like, too many layers of pressure. <laughs> And then I just, it just fell, and somebody was recording it, and everybody was like, oh my god. And I was like, wait, can I have that footage? I want to post it on my bed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is really funny. If I, well, nobody was mad, right? It's not your fault. They shouldn't have given you so many awards. Nobody was mad, but nobody was glad either. Well, that's so, what they get for giving awards bigger than you. Yeah, three. Yeah. Plus a microphone. That's irresponsible on their part, really. So, no Tino Shane. You speak, you speak Spanish. Did you grow up speaking Spanish? Um, well, yes and no. I mean, my parents do speak Spanish, but they didn't speak it in the house. Okay. <laughs> but my grandparents speak Spanish, so I kind of spoke it to them. And then I liked to learn how to speak more Spanish, so I went into the native program of my school, and I did it for three years. Cool. Native is like Spanish speaking for Spanish speakers, but I yeah. really wasn't even fluent, but I just did it. And then I did AP Spanish, and I kind of like learned through the educational system. Yeah. Plus speaking it with my grandparents, so I speak it fully now. Awesome. Do you have any, were you ever raised listening to Latino or Hispanic music? 
Um, my parents definitely not. <laughs> no. But my grandparents do play lat music in the house, but it's definitely not music that I'd be listening to. It's more like traditional, like tango style. Oh, wow. Yeah, like tango and like I don't even know merengue stuff like that. But my older cousin listened to like Shakira and yeah. Daddy Yankee, I think it was. Yeah, Dame la gasolina. Yeah, so we were like yeah. booty pop into Spanish music. I was like, okay, I like this. Yeah. yeah. So you don't ever think you would, like Ariana, I mean, she's a Latina artist. You don't think you would ever move into Latino music? I definitely don't see myself coming out with all Spanish songs. Sure. But I would be totally open to like a little Spanglish. I mean, yeah. I feel like Spanish music just makes you want to dance even more. So Yeah, you could be like Selena, like you start out where you Selena, don't. Selena, not, not Selena. Las Selenas. Yeah. Yes. I love her. Yeah. You know, she didn't try to start out in the Latino world, but she blew up. Yeah. I mean, now she's in everybody's hearts. I love her. <laughs> Here I am, like, turning this into a tribute to Selena. Anyways, talk to me a little bit about your musical influences. Um, okay, so I listened to a lot of Ariana, like I've said, like, ten times in mm -hmm. this entire mm -hmm. interview. Uh, I listened to a lot of mm, not really top 40. Mm -hmm. So I'll go on Spotify and, like, go into the, like, music set of, like, not even, like, a lot of plays. And I'll just, like, listen to get vibes of sounds that aren't really popular but are still cool. Yeah. And I'll just mess around on Spotify and just find stuff that I'm interested in. I like Tovlo a lot. Mm, she's cool. I like, so when I see myself making music, I see myself making music that's like kind of chill, yet you could still booty pop to it, and yet still like musically there, like you can hear that I can sing. I don't know. Yeah. Is there anything you can tell me about what you're working on now, or anything at all? What can I get from you? So I have dates set for the studio, so I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna start recording. I have one day that's called the messing around day, Ooh. where I'm just gonna go in and like play around and like hear my voice out and just kind of decide. And then it's like, okay, messing around is over. Um, go in there and write music and mm -hmm. come out with songs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. Is there a dream collaboration that you've ever had in your mind? Someone Ooh. you'd work with? A dream collaboration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to say a guy for sure. Because I, I think when two girls are on a track, it's like, when well, when I listen to music and it's two girls, I'm always, like, picking the better one. I'm like, hmm, who's better? You. So, like, I wouldn't want that kind of pressure. Like, oh. You don't want to be the Kelly roll into someone's Beyonce. Right. See, right. Or, like, the boy is mine. Hello. Yeah. I feel like Brandy owned that song. Yeah. That was just me, personally. Yeah, no, you you know. So, I would do it with a guy and it would be, like, romantic, like, eh. Mm -hmm. And people listen to it would be, like, hey, hey, I want to know what's going on behind the scenes here. Like, that was that that would be cool. Yeah. And if I were to do it with a boy, oh, my God, there's so many boys to choose from. <laughs> so many vast And not stuff. Zac Efron. No, because he can't he's sing. He's busy procreating with you. True, on the I island. I mean, have we ever heard him sing? I don't, I think it's probably for a reason if we have. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Very <laughs> true. Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. What do you, well, what high do you school mean? Musical. High School Musical. That was so long bet ago. Bet on it, bet on it. And was that actually him? I feel like, you know, what if it was someone else? Uh, you know, maybe. I, I do think it was him. I think there was a lot of treatments. Yeah. But it was him. Well, all right. We'll just... Zac Efron's just good at looking pretty. Yeah. We'll have to think about who looking your Looking pretty and procreating, is. so... Yeah. Now, you haven't gone into the studio yet, but can you tell me a sound that you envision yourself making? So I have gone to the studio a couple times, and yeah. when I go in there, I love dubstep actually so i wouldn't i don't see myself coming out with like full-on dubstep music with like no words and just like intense deep drops that you're like whoa mm -hmm. but i do like having that kind of flavor into a song that's like super chill and vibey with it like a kind of drop you know what i mean and like the yeah. soothing sound of a voice Ugh. I like jazz you know amy winehouse Ooh, yeah. ooh! now you're speaking my language ooh. really yeah i love her oh cool her voice is like butter yeah did you ever imagine five years ago that you'd be sitting here in a room with me talking about music and your life? No. I how unique it is? Wait, how old was I five years ago? No, I probably just imagined myself sitting in like a high school classroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I'm not doing that. So then five years from now, where do you see yourself? I see myself still making online content because it's not, for me, it's not something that I want to do to get in, to get something out of it. Like, hey, if I have like a trillion followers they'll buy my music I, not at all so i do enjoy doing that actually so i see myself somehow finding the time of my life to balance my very attractive boyfriend slash husband i haven't decided um Zach Efron. true on the <laughs> island well see in a perfect world he wouldn't even have to live in the island we could live like in a nice in his mansion three-story mansion there studio city yeah yeah is it really is that really yeah he lives in studio city Ooh. do you not read the gossip mags no but i feel like i'm so left out <laughs> Oh, okay, so I see myself in a three-story mansion in Studio City with yeah. Zac Efron, mm -hmm. 
with three albums out. Wow. Maybe a Grammy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I Girl, see myself. for the stars. I see myself with music out, maybe in a movie. Yeah. We're talking big here. Yeah. Movie, music, Efron. I'm digging it. Set the bar high, you know? Yeah. I love it. Well, it was a pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you. Can you please tell everybody who doesn't already follow you where they can find you on social media? You can find me on my social medias. My at on everything is just at Lauren Geraldo and YouTube.com slash Lauren Geraldo one. And you can follow me on Twitter at the Kylie Hodges or Instagram just at Kylie Hodges. Lauren, thank you so much for thank joining you. me. Best of luck with everything in the future. Thank you. See you guys next time. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.